First thing this morning, I woke up to a quite a vivid vision. And in the vision, I was accelerating down a road super quickly and I was speeding through things and I found myself speeding through some quite scary stuff really quick like I was going through uh, some kind of creepy fairground ride you know what I mean with creepy faces but I was speeding through it then I found myself on an open road and again I was accelerating along an open road I really feel God is bringing us into a season a moment of acceleration right now um, we've been in uh, something of a pause I'll share more about that in a moment but I really believe acceleration is coming. So I prophesy that over you this morning uh, in the way that it came to me. In fact, I then, something that I'll often do is I'll start my day by just checking out what's called the Daily Light. It's a little app, it used to be a little book, and all it does is collect verses together. And it's a great way just to make sure, little, little good habit for life, make sure your first thought in the morning uh, before you try and look at the news headlines or social media or whatever it is that you do, the newspapers, um, get the word of God on you first thing. There's something about the clean slate of your mind and your soul first thing in the morning. So I'll often reach for my daily light just to read a little collection of scriptures before I even look at anything else. And so I had this vivid vision of accelerating down a road. Then I opened up my daily light and this is what it said. He led them on a level road. The Lord found Jacob in a desolate land, in an empty wasteland where animals howl. He continually guarded him and taught him. He continually protected him like the pupil of his eye. Like an eagle that stirs up its nest, that hovers over its young, so the Lord spread out his wings and took him. He lifted him up on his pinions. The Lord alone was guiding him. Even when you're old, come on everybody, I will take care of you. Even when you've got grey hair or no hair, okay, I added that bit, I will carry you. I made you and I will support you. I will carry you and rescue you. There's a collection of verses, okay, not from one place. It goes on. He restores my strength. He leads me down the right path for, right, for the sake of his reputation. Even when I must walk through the darkest valley, that's that scary bit I was, I was uh, going through. I will fear no danger for you are with me, your rod and your staff. They reassure me. The Lord will continually lead you. He'll feed you even in parched regions. He'll give you renewed strength and, when you, uh, and you'll be like a well-watered garden, like a spring that continually produces water. For God, our God is our defender forever. Ever. He guides us. Who is a teacher like him? Wow, come on. We're coming into the year of acceleration. If you ever played a computer game, there are, when I play computer games with, with my son, Zach, I sometimes fall so far behind the very last person on the race. Imagine a racing video game, right? That the, 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 the computer is eventually merciful towards me and it does what you call a catch up. It kind of picks me up and accelerates me and brings me right up at least to the next to the last person in the race. Some Sometimes it even accelerates you past loads of other people and it places you down as if you'd not missed a step or a beat. And I believe that's what God is going to do this year. He is going to pick some of us up and he's going to accelerate us as if there was not a moment wasted by 2020. He's going to bring you into new things and you're going to realize you have not missed out. He has restored the years that the locust has eaten. He's brought you through with acceleration. I've got to be honest with some of you, get this perspective. Even think of train tracks now, even though some things have felt like they're pausing and stopping, you're going to discover in this season other things parallel have been accelerating under God. And you are going to find that God has accelerated you into new things by using the last season. We are coming to a season of acceleration.